Welcome. Welcome back to another PC mod video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the hard drive on a laptop to an SSD hard drive. Now this is going to apply to basically all laptops, especially the older ones that don't have SSDs already installed. This is going to be a quick video showing you how to remove the hard drive so that you can install an SSD hard drive and make your laptop that much faster. We're going to do a startup on both of them and show you guys just how much faster your laptop can run with an SSD installed. Okay, so really simple video. Now you don't really need these tweezers, but I like to use them in order just to help pry out the um, hard drive. This is an old laptop that I bought used and uh, they don't have the bracket for the hard drive anymore so you kind of have to like pry it out. So that's the only reason why I have uh, tweezers. Now this is the SSD we are using. It is the WD Blue 500 gigabyte 3D NAND solid state drive and we're just going to use a screwdriver flathead or Phillips just depending on the type of screw that your laptop has. First things first, make sure you always pull out the power and also detach your battery as well just in case there is some stored power now I always did this without having to do that and really it did not make much of a difference at all unscrew where the hard drive is held in undo this screw alright screw out and then we can pry this back there we go and then our hard drive will just be in there now like I said because I no longer have the hard drive caddy well actually the seller that I bought it off is using foam to support the hard drive. Put our tweezers in and grab our hard drive and pull it out. There we go. And we just pull our hard drive out. We have a little bit of foam here that helps to hold the hard drive in place. Just pull it out with the foam and that's it. This is a Hitachi 320 gigabyte hard drive 320 and the speed on this is 5400 rpm it's a decent hard drive very standard and now to install our solid state drive you got to take note of how your ssd is installed there's our plug for the ssd and that's the way it's going to sit in and it also sits closest to the top so we make sure that we install our ssd this way like this Okay, so usually you have a bracket that will allow your SSD to um, be fitted nicely, but uh, in this case, we're just going to use a piece of foam in order to keep the SSD in place. Alright, and that's it. Look at that. SSD in. Really nothing to it at all. And also just to keep this in place here, I'm going to put a piece of foam there. And then I'm going to replace the cover. Grab our screw, put it back in, and then we'll uh, turn it on and give it a test run. Let's slap the battery back in, lock it. Now let's give it a quick test run. Now, obviously if you haven't preloaded your SSD or you haven't cloned your hard drive, then you're going to have to reinstall a new version of Windows using a USB boot drive. If you want to see videos like that on how to create a boot disk and um, clone your hard drive, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be sure to do those videos. Let's give this a test run, turn it on, just make sure it all works. Okay, and I guess we're in business. It is a lot faster and just to show you guys how much of an improvement an SSD can do for your laptop, we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison now so you guys can see for yourself that this has got to be one of the best upgrades you can do to your laptop apart from the RAM as well. I'm also going to do a video showing you guys how to upgrade the RAM on a laptop. It's very simple and definitely something that you should consider if your laptop is an older model like mine is. And we'll uh, run the comparison. <laughs> 